first she's adopting them left and right, now she's losing them on screen. Nobody pimps out kids like Angelina Jolie. You're watching Review. On March 10th, my nine-year-old son, Walter Collins, disappeared. And a five-month investigation led to a boy being brought to Los Angeles from DeKalb, Illinois. The LAPD told me and all of you that this boy was my son. He was not my son. Changeling. What is a changeling anyway? Based on Western European folklore, it's the offspring of an elf or troll that has secretly replaced a human child. But the stuff of storybooks seemed all too real to single mother Christine Collins when, after her son was kidnapped, the LAPD presented her with a strange boy claiming to be her son. When Collins protested, they threw her into a mental institution. J. Michael Straczynski, creator of Babylon 5, wrote this screenplay based on true events as a welcome break from his sci-fi work. Angelina Jolie, John Malkovich, and director Clint Eastwood make up an industry-respected trifecta that Universal Pictures hopes will spawn an award-winning juggernaut. What movie did you just see? Changeling. How was it? Wonderful. It was good. It was really good. It was interesting. I liked its story and the depth of its characters. I enjoyed yeah. it. I'm just saying, you know, it wasn't like... The best. The greatest movie I've ever seen. It was about as good as every other Clint Eastwood movie, which is about 20 minutes too long. It's not that long. It's, uh, I mean, it, it has to wrap up a lot of different subplots. Got so involved in it, and you didn't want it to end. You wanted to see the outcome. Would you have taken that kid home, the fake kid? No. I'm not a mother, and then maybe that's a mother's instinct that she took him. Of course, he had nowhere else to go. But nowadays, nobody would be stupid enough to even take a kid like that, and most people would fight against that immediately. They wouldn't put on a show like she did. Listen to me. I know my child. Listen, any of my boys, something happened to them, we f somebody. Yeah. Um. I got through the disappearance of the kid really quickly and then oh. moved into more of this political stuff with the police department. Is it hard to imagine that this could happen? No, I'm from Los Angeles. Uh, I grew up there and, I, and not too long after that era, so it's not unbelievable to me. You have kids, then you can really relate to it. If yeah. not, you're really not, to be honest with you, you're going to take it as a big joke. Seriously. Oh, really? You think so? Yeah, because yeah. I've seen people, I heard people in there laughing. Angelina Jolie needs to take a few more acting lessons because she's really not that great. What did you think of Angelina Jolie? I was never really a big fan, mm. but she was fantastic. I think it's a little more difficult for her, you know, to look at her as a character rather than just seeing Angelina Jolie. I think she's going to get an Academy Award nomination for it. Oh. I think it's going to be Best Picture nomination, too. Let the Oscar season begin. Personally, I wouldn't nominate it for any awards. He deserves to win? Yes, why not? Sure, why not? Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I was going to They want you on the Academy. What do you think of Clint Eastwood's directing? Oh, he's great. He's one of my favorite directors. That's why I'm here on opening day. One good movie after another. He's the best director alive. This movie, I give it an A+. Plus. I love it. And Angelina Jolie, if you're watching this, you're call right. me. <laughs> People might have mixed feelings about Angelina Jolie, but Clint Eastwood loves her, and it looks like he's going to be her Oscar sugar daddy. That's it for review. Be sure to check us out next week.